previously on Tall Garage. I've seen better days. Holy fucking shit. Welcome to the channel, everybody. So let's jump right into it. Because of the huge success of the last Flathead video, I'm assuming y'all really like this thing. So we're going to keep making videos about it. As you can see here in the video, we have a barrel and we have the engine. And we're going to try to clean the engine with what is called electrolysis. So, I wanted to try to get as many shots as I could of the engine before it was clean. And I don't really think I captured just how dirty and rusted this thing really was. But I did my best. So, I'm going to throw out some clips uh, here for you guys just to see mainly the valley. The valley was the worst part. So, hopefully you can see that and just get a good sense of how bad this thing was. As if you couldn't already tell from the previous video when we pulled the oil pan. So this video is going to consist of seven days of electrolysis. Of me pulling and cleaning the sacrificial pieces of metal about once a day and the end result. So here's the last seven days. I hope you guys enjoy me figuring this out as I go. And the end result. Because in my opinion it's pretty impressive. Thanks. Enjoy the show. All right, fellas, we uh, got the engine in the barrel. Gave her a good power washing. Couldn't get the pulley off, so we're just going to leave it. But uh, that's the clean she's going to get. And uh, there's our sacrificial piece. We're going to hang that in there off a piece of angle iron across the top. Probably going to make one more hanging on the other side. So. There's a piece on uh, the front side of the motor by the uh, valley and on the back side by the crank. So get good coverage. I think that'll help a lot. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish getting things set up and then uh, we'll turn around and let her eat. In case you're curious like what we're doing here, it's called electrolysis. And through some sort of form of science magic that I'm not privy to, it cleans the block. It cleans all the rust off the block. We're going to try it. Alrighty, right, right. Here we go. So we got electrode one hanging down there. And we got a second one hanging over there. Why? I don't know. See if it works. All that's left now to do is uh, grab the hose and uh, fill her up with all this. Watch the magic happen. Now, I'm not the one to explain how this process works. I'll uh, put some links to two other videos down in the old description for where I got this idea. So obviously there's not instructions for how much of this stuff to put in, so I'm just gonna try like half a box. Half box feels right, right? And if we need more, we need more. I guess we're just gonna stir it up, kick the battery charger on. Gosh, what plants crave electrolytes. Now, I did power wash the shit out of this engine, but there's so much stuff in it, it's hard to get all out. So I'm sure that's what's making the water dirty. All right, so after a little dicking around, and I removed the second electrode because 
I didn't see it doing anything. We got bubbles. We got action. Right there. Bubbles. I mean, it's just working. I think. We're going to let this thing just go for a while. See what happens. So it's been like just a couple minutes and already we're starting to see stuff work its way over to the uh, positive electrode there. So while that's working away, I've been trying to figure out how to agitate all of the uh, armor hammer and arm and hammer that uh, got stuck on the bottom of the barrel, you know, because the engine's in the way. And I I think I figured it out. Uh, I got this big air wand here. I'm gonna shove this down to the bottom of the barrel. Give it a couple. Of sh -sh. Should agitate that stuff. Get it mixed up in this, you know, into the water. So that should help. We're gonna do that. All right, fellas. It's the next day, and uh, there's definitely been something going on in this barrel. Pretty gross. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the air wand and agitate the stuff on that settle in the bottom really good. Make sure all of that uh, arm and hammer, arm and hammer is all mixed up. And uh, we're just gonna let it eat for the rest of the day, I guess. Maybe even tomorrow, why not? So yeah, see you guys then. All right guys, well, we're back again. This is what, day three, two and a half, whatever. Uh, so I came in this morning and the, we were still getting bubbles, you know, but it didn't look like I was doing a whole bunch. So I stirred it up real good and I decided to add that second electrode I made. And as you can see, we're starting to get action now. Lots of stuff going on over by the new electrode. So I'm going to like go on a limb here and assume that the, the first one is too caked up with stuff to actually uh, be doing much. So... Then I'm going to wait another day, and then I'll probably, well, you've seen how bad this thing was. So I'll probably pull both of them out and uh, clean them real good with, like, the wire wheel on the grinder. And then stick them back down there. And I'm just going to let it eat. It's probably, probably till the week after the weekend, after Easter rolls around. But, like I said, it's definitely starting to do something again with that new electrode. Lots of action and swirling and bubbles and all that jazz, so... Gonna keep at it. A new electrode to make it all the difference. So, lesson learned clean or change your electrode. Good to know. Alright, guys, it's uh, nighttime now. I just swung back to the shop after uh, coming back from town and I decided to swap out our uh, electrodes down there. They're all crusted up again, and I even cleaned the old uh, rotor there once. So I decided to swap in this old axle. And uh, it's down there bubbling, doing its thing. So we're going to come back and check on her tomorrow. And uh, I'm not sure if we're going to find some more scrap metal and keep on keeping at it because it's pretty bad, or we'll pull her out and see what she looks like. We'll make a decision then. But uh, all right, guys, until next time. All right, so day four on the experiment, uh, we, uh, come on, man. I've tried recording this like four times already, but today is day four, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I took the axle out, cleaned these, put them back in. They've been running all day. I'm about ready to pull them out again and put the axle, which I just cleaned with the wire wheel, back in and just gonna keep on letting it go three days later so if you've made it to this point thank you a lot but uh 
here we are. It's been seven days of electrolysis on this engine, and we're going to start pulling it out. Uh, the, as you can see on the axle I just had in my hand, the uh, sacrificial metal is definitely doing its job. I think the heavier and the denser, the better, but, you know, you got to use what you have on hand. Next time, I think I'll probably use maybe a large tote instead of a barrel. That way I don't got to lift the engine as high, but it is what it is. Here, I'm brushing down the engine as best I can. They, they say you should uh, try to remove as much of the residue that on the block as possible when it comes out, because once it dries, it's going to be uh, pretty hard to get off, but most people are going to take uh, their blocks to the engine shop anyway, I suppose. Well, at least this one's going, because it's just too dirty not to, but and it's going to need a lot of work. So it'll get cleaned anyway, but I just figured, you know, running over it real quick with a brush can't hurt. And I didn't know how it was going to uh, react to drying. I didn't want to flash rust and, you know, look like crap again. So I hit it with the air wand. I'm pretty sure the black coating that is uh, all over the block now from the electrolysis kept it from flash rushing the next day. But I figured, you know, drying it off for good couldn't hurt. It also allowed me to blow a lot of loose material that was just sitting on things off. Especially in the valley. Lots of stuff still came out of the valley, which... Uh, was probably the worst part on the block, so I'm happy uh, to hit it as good as I can. And then, you know, hitting it with some WD-40, you know, couldn't hurt either. For getting a little greased up, and I wanted to hit the stuff inside the valley really good, because eventually I will be pounding them out. Alright, fellas. We're going to take you in close here to get a good look at uh, what we managed to do. Now you gotta remember, this is after seven days of continuous electrolysis, changing out the sacrificial pieces about once a day. Now, and now the valley was obviously the worst part. And I gotta say, I can make out all the individual valves and the springs. I mean, I gotta, I gotta say, I did a, I did a crazy good job cleaning out all the shit that was in there. So, bravo. The whole block has a black color to it now. I'm not sure if that's going to keep it from rusting or not. But here is the back side. And, uh, I mean, it's crazy. Like, I missed some stuff down in this one hole. There's still some mouse nest down in there, but... Did a crazy good job. I mean, from what we started with. So, crazy good job. So what I think we got to do now is obviously get it on the end of stand and finish tearing it down. Crank out, rods, and hopefully the pistons. After that, we can take it to the uh, machine shop. See if she's cracked. That's really going to be uh, interesting. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, come with me on this uh, journey of science. But uh, until next time, talk to you later.